welcome back to Gold Fries. In this video, we'll be looking at the Ashok B550 Extreme 4. And I'm extremely happy that the Extreme series is now back in Malaysia. This model retails at RM920. Over in the US, or at least in the USD price I saw on Amazon, retails at just a little under 190 US, which I think is very affordable. The ASRock B550 Extreme 4 might seem strange at first with the dark blue colors, but I grew to like it. Starting off at the upper corner, we have two heat sinks on the VRM with a plastic shroud over the V-Call VRM. At the rear, we have a HDMI output, a PS2 connector, no less than 8 USB ports of which includes a Type-C and Type-A USB 3.2 Gen 2, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 1, and 4 USB 2.0. It also has 2.5 gigabit LAN using Dragon RTL 8125BG and 7.1 channel HD audio with Realtek ALC 1220 audio codec and Nahimic audio. The Ashrock B550 Extreme 4 comes with M.2 armor, one that covers the PCIe Gen 4 M.2 and the other at the lower side covering the PCIe Gen 3 M.2. I'm most pleased that the debug LED, the power and the reset button are now on the B550 Extreme 4 which is a sub RM1000 board. Such features haven't been around in the lower priced ASRock boards for years. Need some RGB LED? Don't worry, the board comes with RGB lights at the right places. Elegant and refined. Another thing I appreciate with this board is that there's plenty of fan connection headers. The fan connections are found over here. There's two, one over here, one over here, one over here, and two more over here. I wouldn't worry about the VRM either as I've tested it with the Ryzen 5 3600 running blender test and the temperature is just a little above 40 degrees Celsius. I'm sure you can handle even the highest end Ryzen processor. Just pay attention to the temperature if you are overclocking those high end models. For those of you who like to tweak the system, the ASRock B550 Extreme 4 has got you covered with plenty of options for you to fiddle. All in all, I really love this board. The quality is like an X570 model and I find it of greater value than the say the X570 Steel Legend from ASRock. The X570 Steel Legend for example over in Malaysia retails at about RM1100 range which is a lot higher than the RM920 of this one and the Extreme 4 here comes with a debug LED and also the power and reset buttons of which the X570 Steel Legend does not have. But what about the B550 Steel Legend? You saw my unboxing. Yes, that board is with me. It's cheaper than this one. It's about RM800 range, which is about 120 difference. But that model does not have the power and reset button, but it does have a display port. This model does not have. But what is more important to you? To me, the power and reset buttons are really important because I like to do overclocking. So I'm giving this board a go badge because of the value. Great build, having all the features that I like and it, it's really value for money. Really awesome job, Astro. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.